Os justi meditaviter sapientiam et lingua eius locutor judicium, nex de eius in cordio ipsius. Noli emulari in malignantibus, neque zelibaris facientis in iniquitatem. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu e Sancto, secretario et principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Os justi meditaviter sapientiam et lingua eius locutor judicium, nex de eius in cordio ipsius. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus boni voluntatis. Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gracias agimus tibi, propter maniam gloriam tuam. Domini Deus, rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, Domine, fili unigenite, Iesu Christe. Domini Deus, agnus Dei, filius patris, we call us Catamundi, miseri nobis. We call us Catamundi, sushi pay de vacationum nostrum. We says as externum patris, miseri nobis. Quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus Jesu Christe, cum sancto spirito, in gloria dei patris. Amen. Dominus Felicia. Oremus. Deus qui infirmati nostri ad terendum salutis viam in sanctis tuis, exemplum et presidium colocasti, da nobis ita beate giudimi ab abatis merita venerari, et eustum excipiamus suffrigia et vestigia prosequamur. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum, quidium tuum, qui tecet vivit a regna nuitati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus. Deus omnium fidelium pastor et rector, famulum tuum Franciscum, quem pastorum ecclesiae tui recessi voluisti, propitius respice, dae quesimus verbo et exemplo, vivis praeiste et proficere, ut ad vitam una cum gresi sibi credito, pervenet sempiternam. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum, quidium tuum, vi teget vivit regna et unitati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio libri sapientiae. 
Directis Deo et Hermanibus, cuius memoriam benedictioni est. Simile milum fecit in gloria sanctorum, et magnificapet eum in timori inimicorum, et in verbas suis monstra facabit. Glorificabit idum in conspecto regium, et iusit ili coram populo suo, et ostendit ili gloria suam. In fide et lenitante ipsius sanctum fecit idum, et eligit eum ex omne carne. Audivit enum eum in vocem ipsius, et in induxit idum in nubum. Et idit ili coram precepta, et legem vitae, et disipidae. Domni pregonisio eum in benedictione vum dilutitinus, pos vist in capite eus coronum dilapitae precioso, vitam petit a te, et tribuisti et longitudinum dierum in seculum seculi. Alleluia, alleluia. Justus in palma florebit, sicu cedros divani modificabitur, alleluia. Dominus Vobiscus. Sequentia Sancti Evangelii Secundum Matteo. Gloria Civi Domini. In idu tempore disi Petrus and Gesù, ecce nos reliquimus omnia et secuti sumus te, quid ergo erat nobis? Iesus autum dixit idis, Amen, dico Vobis, quod vos coi secuti estis me in regenerazione, cum sederit filius hominus in sede maestatis sui, Sedibetis et vos supersedis duodecem, judicantes duodecem tribus Israel. Et omnis qui reliquent domum, vel fratres, aut sorores, aut patrem, aut matrem, aut exorum, aut filios, aut agros, propter nomen meum, centupulum acipiet, in vitam eternam possedibit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of St. William the Abbot. St. William was a religious founder from the Piedmont region of Europe and lived during the 10th and 11th century. Uh, if you're looking for an Irish uh, compatriot of the same time, St. Malachy would be an example. William lived as a hermit in various regions of Italy. While he was on a hike somewhere between Nola and Benevenuto, he was joined by a group of hermit monks. Eventually he became their abbot and he gave them a rule based on that of St. Benedict. And his congregation, known now as Williamites, was dedicated to Our Lady. William himself, we're told, was merciless in the austerities he imposed upon himself, believing ardently that the Christian who suffers with Jesus will be glorified with the Lord as well. St. William comes to us as a saint and a patron of the monastic vocation. And by following his vocation, he went on to give great glory to God and to bless the church. And the lesson of today's Mass from the book of Ecclesiasticus speaks of the great blessings that God gives to those he calls to enter the priesthood or the religious life. 
It says, He made him like the saints in glory and magnified him in the fear of his enemies. And with his words, he made prodigies to cease. He glorified him in the sight of kings and gave him commandments in the sight of his people and revealed to him his glory. He sanctified him in his faith and meekness and chose him out of all flesh. When you hear words like this, you're struck by just what an extraordinary gift God gives to the church and to the world in the priesthood. We should be, especially those of us who are, have been called to holy orders, should always be tremendously humble about it and aware of our own sins. But no one should ever be fearful when it comes to answering the call that God gives them. And we all know, of course, at the moment, how much Ireland needs new priests and religious brothers and sisters and for its lay faithful to follow their vocations more fully and more deeply. Whenever I think of vocations personally, I think of a prayer I learnt at school. Lord, make me a better person, more considerate towards others, more honest with myself, more faithful to you. Make me generous enough to want sincerely to do your will, whatever it may be. Help me to find my true vocation in life and grant that through it, I may find happiness in myself and bring happiness to others. And grant, Lord, that those who you call to enter the priesthood or religious life may have the generosity to answer your call so that those who need your help may always find it. That prayer was drummed into me during the seven years I spent at school at Loretto College in Coleraine. And that listening to that prayer over and over again, two or three times a week at the end of every assembly, taught me that our vocation is the plan that God has for your life. And that if you follow your vocation, you will find, as it says, happiness in yourself and that you will bring happiness to others as well. In the run-up to Good Shepherd Sunday this year, my bishop, the most reverend Noel Trainer in the Diocese of Down and Connor, asked that the whole diocese would pray a novena for vocations together. And in my own parish at Ballymena, we made that novena publicly just as you're making your novena to the Sacred Heart at the moment. We did that in May, and we had a number of guest speakers who spoke about their vocations as well. One was a lay woman, Sarah, a teacher from Kilray in County Derry, who spoke very well about her vocation. She's married with two children. She told her story of discovering her lay vocation. As a teenager, she'd been brought up as a Catholic, but she wasn't so sure about her faith. She tried other churches when she first went to university, but she came to realize in her head that the Catholic Church was telling the truth. But at that point, it was just in her head. As a young 18-year-old, her heart was saying, have fun, be independent. What about your career? What about relationships? What about just being a creative, fulfilled person? For a long time, she felt there was a division in her life, that she was being pulled two ways. One way was towards God and holiness, the other towards a normal, fun life. She felt that if she followed God, that would limit her options in life. But she said, as she spoke to us during that novena for vocations, as she prayed more, as she got to know God better, especially in Eucharistic adoration, she discovered that God didn't want to limit her options. Rather, he wanted to help her sift through her choices so that she would find what was truly right for her. And the Lord since then has led her on a path to the lay vocation as a wife and a mother and a teacher with a career as well. She's also a writer, writing a Catholic blog, and she leads a prayer group in her parish. And she would tell us that God doesn't want any of us to be limited. He will give us our, all the opportunities we need to be our best and to follow his plan. And that has been my experience too. When I think back to my time in university in England 20 years ago now, I remember that I wasn't always just as bothered as I should have been about when I went to Mass or whether I got there or not in any particular week. I remembered when I didn't think I agreed with a lot of what the Catholic Church teaches. I certainly didn't understand it all that well. But just a few later, years later, again through prayer, I had developed a strong faith of my own. I'd begun to learn about my Catholic faith and appreciate it. I had chosen to go to Mass and then eventually picked up the courage to go to confession regularly as well. I got involved in my own parish and then later in groups like the St. Vincent de Paul. 
I also started attending the uh, Latin Mass in Leeds. And eventually, I realized that that strange idea that popped into my imagination every so often about possibly being a priest, that one wasn't going to go away. I wasn't going to be able to shake it off. And in fact, it was an invitation from God. It didn't happen overnight. Unlike with St. Paul, God didn't try to blind me or overpower me. He certainly doesn't try and trick anyone. He led me rather on a long, gentle journey, teaching me who he really was and helping me to discover in his light who I really was as well. And for me, that journey led to the priesthood. And I think back to all those years of praying for vocations and learning what vocations were in school, I now recognize what mine was. And it wasn't a case of God limiting my opportunities, despite the celibacy and the obedience and all the other promises and responsibilities we take on. I can see that just as Sarah, our speaker, said at our novena, that God wasn't limiting me. He was rather helping me sift through all the options in my life so that I could make the choices that were best for me and that I could, as that prayer said, find happiness in myself and then, please God, bring his peace to others. Fifteen years on from when I first spoke to a priest about the possibility of me having a vocation, and eight years on from being ordained a priest for the Diocese of Down and Connor, I'm still grateful every day for my vocation. I love being a priest, and I know that for me nothing else would make me any happier. And as we celebrate today the Feast of St. William the Abbot, let us pray that God will give all of us a deeper sense of our own vocation, whatever it is, that we'll know that God loves us personally, that he cares for us as individuals, and that he has a plan for all our lives, a plan that, if we follow it as best we can, will help us make the very most of the potential that we all have within us. For most people, that will be living in the world as lay people, living as lay apostles, bringing God into their relationships, their families, their work, and their activities. But for some of us, and perhaps some here who haven't thought of it yet, God is dreaming of you as a priest or as a religious sister. And if you trust him and follow him, he will show you how happy that plan will make you and what an impact your life will yet have on the world around you. May God bless Ireland with many holy vocations in the years ahead, and may St. William the Abbot intercede for all of us today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus Fabisco, Sorsum Corda, Gracias agamus Domino Deo Nostro. Veri digno et justum est secum et salutari, nos tibi semper de vique gracias agere. Domine sanctitate omnipotenti terni Deus, per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Per quem maestatem tuum laudant angeli, adorant dominationes, prelant potestatis, ceri celerumque virtutis ac fiata seraphim, socia exaltationi concelebrant. Cum quivis et nostre voces et emite iubias deprecamer, supplice confessione dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, venis in ceri et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Quoque peccatoribus.
per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus, precepti salitani vis moniti et divini institutioni formati audemus dicere. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum. Adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis devite nostra. Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatum mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatum mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatum mundi, dona nobis pacem. Domine non sum dignus. Domine non sum dignus. Domine non sum dignus. Miserata Vestia Omnipotens Deus, Mrs. Pantis Vestris, producat vos et vitam eternum. In dudentiam abstitionum et commissionum peccatorum nostrum, tubit omnipotens et misericus dominus. Amen. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tode peccata mundi. Domine, non sum divis, sus intra sus exum meam, si tanto di crevo, sus naviter anima meam. Domine, non sum divis, sus intra sus exum meam, si tanto di crevo, sus naviter anima meam. Domine, non sum divis, sus intra sus exum meam, si tanto di crevo, sus naviter anima meam.
Delhi servus et prudens, quem constituit dominus superfamiliam suum, ut dehilis in tempore tritici mensurum. Protegat nos Domine, cum tui perceptione exactamente beatus Juliemus Abbas, pro nobis intertudendo, ut et conversationis eos experiamur insignia, intercessionis percipiamus suffigia, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Gridium Tuum, vi teget vive regna in unitati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus. Hec nos, quesimus Domine, divini sacramenti perceptio protegiat, et famlam Tuum Franciscum, quem pastorem ecclesiae tui preesi valuisti, uno cum comissio sibi grege, salvat semper et muniat. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum, filium tuum, qui teci vive regna et nuitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Domina Sovisco, in yet seeing the Sancti Evangelis in Cunha de Vatus, in principio era verba ma verba era da potea, ma tea se era verba, o gera in principio la potea, omnia prevesum facta sunt, in sine ipsum factum est nico quod factum est, in ipsum vita erat, in vita erat ex hominum, lux in tenebre sucit, in tenebre eam non compendere. Fruit of my Jesus, a day of phenomenon in our journeys. We venerate the testimonium, the testimonium of the Hebrew to illuminate, the dominus credo for Eden. Non erat in a lux, a testimonium for Hebrew to illuminate. Erat the spare, we illuminate omnum, omnum, benentum, non mundum. When the wearer, the moon's bricks of fact possessed, the moon is aim, non conurbi. The property of aim, the sui aim, non recepere. For what happened, recepere and aim, the aim is for the statum for the state theory. This concurrent to nominate aims, finale sanguinibus, negus mon latinianis, negus mon latinianis, sex deo latinus. Verbum caro factum est, et habit habit in nobis, et vidimus gloria meus, verum fratum ingenitia patri, tem gratiae et veritatis.
the act of reparation to the Sacred Heart. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, prostrate before thee, we wish to make reparation to thee for all the coldness, irreverence, ingratitude, and sacrileges by which the greater part of mankind repay so cruelly the love of thy divine heart here before thy altar and in thy true presence. For the forgetfulness and ingratitude of men, for the neglect shown to thy holy tabernacles, for the sacrileges which profane the sacrament of thy love, for the insults to thy divinity, for the offenses of sinners, for the hatred of the ungodly, for the blasphemies hurled against thee and thy saints, for the coldness thou dost receive from the greater part of thy children, for the infidelity of those who call themselves thy friends, for the manifold offenses against Christian modesty, for the frequent violation of Sundays and holy days, for the insults to which thy vicar on earth is subjected, for the public crimes of nations, for our past sins, for the bad example we have given, for the abuse of thy grace, for our tepidity in thy holy service. O sacred heart of Jesus, lover of souls, we promise to make reparation to thee in the future by faithful service. Mere words are worth little if our lives displease thee. We promise to be more attentive to our religious duties, to be more regular and fervent in our reception of Holy Communion, and to avoid giving thee deliberate offence again. We are weak and unstable, but help us, O Lord, to make reparation for the past and to console thee during our future lives. Amen. The Novena Prayer to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. O divine Jesus, who has said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold us prostrate at your feet, animated with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. We come to ask your aid. From whom shall we ask, O sweet Jesus, if not from you, whose heart is an inexhaustible source of all graces and merits? Where shall we seek, if not from the treasure which contains all the riches of your clemency and bounty? Where shall we knock, if it be not at the door of your sacred heart, through which God himself comes to us, and through which we go to God? To you then, O heart of Jesus, we have recourse. In you we find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when overwhelmed with trials and light in doubt and darkness. We firmly believe you can bestow on us the grace we implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it and our prayer will be granted. We know we are most unworthy of your favours, O Jesus, but this is not a reason for us to be discouraged. You are the God of mercies, and you will not refuse a contrite and humble heart. Cast upon us a look of pity, we conjure you, and your compassionate heart will find in our miseries and weakness a pressing motive for granting our petitions. But, O Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to our requests, we will never cease to adore, love, praise, and serve you. Deign, O Jesus, to accept our perfect act of submission to the acts of the decrees of your adorable heart, which we sincerely desire may be fulfilled in us um, and all your creatures forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart for Priests. Remember, O most loving heart of Jesus, that they for whom I pray 
are those for whom you prayed so earnestly on the night before you died. These are they to whom you look upon to continue with you in your sorrows when others forsake you, who share your grief and have inherited your persecutions according to your words. The servant is not greater than his master. Remember, O heart of Jesus, that they are the objects of the world's hatred and Satan's deadliest snares. Keep them then, O Jesus, enfolded in your sacred heart and covered by your precious blood. Let them be sanctified in truth and filled with grace and courage. May they be one with you and with one another and grant that multitudes may be brought by the, their word and example to believe in you and to love you. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Ghost. Holy Trinity, one God. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Ghost in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts. Heart of Jesus, wherein are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Heart of Jesus, wherein abides all the fullness of the Godhead. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Heart of Jesus, rich unto all who call upon thee. Heart of Jesus, source of life and holiness. Heart of Jesus, atonement for our iniquities. Heart of Jesus, filled with reproaches. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our sins. Heart of Jesus, made obedient unto death. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Heart of Jesus, victim of sinners. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in thee. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in thee. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Almighty and eternal God, Look upon the heart of thy most beloved Son and upon the praises and satisfaction which he offers thee in the name of sinners. And to those who implore thy mercy in thy great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, who livest and reignest with thee forever and ever. Amen. The act of consecration to the Sacred Heart. To thee, O sacred heart of Jesus, to thee I devote and offer up my life, thoughts, words, actions, pains, and sufferings. May the least part of my being be no longer employed 
save only in loving, serving, honouring and glorifying Thee. Therefore, O most sacred heart, be Thou the sole object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. Be Thou, O most bountiful heart, my justification at the throne of God, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. In thee I place all my confidence, and convinced as I am of my own weakness, I rely entirely on thy bounty. Destroy in me all that is displeasing and offensive to thy pure eye. Imprint thyself like a divine seal on my heart, that I may ever remember my obligation, never to be separated from thee. May my name also, I beseech thee, by thy tender bounty, be written in thee, O book of life. And may I ever be a victim consecrated to thy glory, ever burning, with thy pure love, and entirely penetrated with it for all eternity. In this I place all my happiness, this is all my desire, to live and die in no other quality but that of thy devoted servant. Amen. Omnipotens em piterni Deus, qui glorios et virginis matris Mariae, corpus et animae, ut inium filii tui habitaculum epici merere tur, spiritus sancto corporanti preparasti, daut cuius commemoratione letamur, eos pie intercessione ab instantibus malis, et a morte perpetuere liberemur, priundum Christum Dominum nostrum. Omnium fidelium pastor et rector, famulum tuum Franciscum, quem pastorum ecclesiae tui priese voluisti, propitius respice, dae quesimus, verbo et exemplum quibus prees proficere, ut ad vitam, una cum gregi sibi credito, preveniat sempiternam, per Christum Dominum nostrum.
oremus. Deus qui nobis sacramentum mirabili, passiones tuem amoriam redequisti, tribo equesimus, ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacramestenia venerabi, ut redemptionis tui fructum in nobis jugitur sensianus. Qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Ghost, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O Lord, grant us priests. O Lord, grant us many priests. O Lord, grant us many holy priests and religious vocations.